New at noon, exciting times for the Chickasaw Incana Foundation. This week is the moment members have been waiting for the groundbreaking ceremony for the Chickasaw Heritage Center. And joining us now to discuss this huge event is the CEO of the Chickasaw Incana Foundation, Brady Davis. How are you, Brady? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me. And today. thank you for being yes. here. I tell you, those renderings are just so beautiful. So tell us, for one, for those who don't know about the Chickasaw Incana Foundation, what is it that you're doing? Right. So the the Chickasaw and Kana Foundation was established in 2014 to interpret, uh, preserve, protect, and interpret Chickasaw history and culture here in the Chickasaw homeland, which the heart of that is right around Tupelo, Mississippi, and all of North Mississippi. And through that, we have been fundraising uh, to build the Chickasaw Heritage Center. And this is a project that has been in the making for decades, and really in the last 10 years it's taken off and we break ground on Wednesday. So All right, right, excited. right now we're showing some of the renderings. Can you just explain to our viewers what is it that this is going to encompass? Right, absolutely. So there'll be two facilities covered by a um, of awning and the first one will be a 10,000 square foot exhibit hall, uh, artifact curation and storage, multi-purpose room, gift shop, and uh, outdoor plaza. And then the second building, as you can see right there, will be constructed just after the first building, and that will have a full theater and a cafe. And there'll be walking trails all across the site that connect to the National Scenic Trail for the uh, Natchez Trace Parkway. We'll have a large area of restored Blackland Prairie trails. People are going to want to come take their high school graduation pictures here. <laughs> uh, come learn about Chickasaw history and culture mm -hmm. from a uniquely Chickasaw perspective. So how uh, the Chickasaw per, uh, experienced their history and their mm -hmm. culture, so through their lens, which makes it a very unique opportunity to provide a engaging uh, educational experience. It sounds absolutely wonderful. Now, of course, if people cannot make it to the groundbreaking ceremony, which is this Wednesday, they can wake up with you on Friday. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, well, we're also going to be streaming the groundbreaking live okay. on Facebook, on mm -hmm. Chickasaw and Kana Foundation's Facebook page. But yeah, here, waking oh, up yes, with you. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Friday morning, 7 a.m., let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you don't sound so excited Oh, I'm about super excited about, about it. You're like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. What is it that you want people to take away when it comes to the Chickasaw Nation? Oh, absolutely. Well, this is the heart of the Chickasaw homeland. Uh, we were removed in 1837, and now it's an opportunity for the Chickasaw people to tell their story from their perspective in their homeland. And we want everyone to come join us, come to the center, and, and learn about their experiences. All right, then thank you so much, Dave Brady, for joining us thank this you. afternoon. Well, still to come on WT.